good morning and thank you for joining us on the Bee Peat beekeeping channel where we do everything beekeeping. We are on 7th of July 2025, we are inspecting poly nuke number one. Uh, this was initially swarm cells that were taken from three and they were both just left uh, unattended so they both deaded out so I took eggs last week from colony number one uh, hopefully to booster those numbers a bit so this is what we have we have bees quite happily flowing in and out there's actually a nice quantity of bees as well so it makes me think that there's a bit of success going on here hey girlies can you go all the way in hello right let's put them on stand Right, let's see what we find. Uh, put the liquid in the queen excluder. Is that water? How did that get in? It's a bit random. Let's see that got. I'll just tip out the water wherever it might be from. These look okay. There's nothing on the underside of the lid, but I'm going to put it on the underside of the feeder, but I'm going to put it on top of the lid. Just Safe. Nothing on there. Right, end frame. Nothing. It's a little bit sad. Right, we did mark it with an X, so we should be able to see super procedure cells on that one. Okay, that looks good. So they are packing in the stores there. So you can see this nice glistening Nature over here. Wonderful capped honey on the top doing a good job capped on the up the top here as well so they're not shy on the old stores at the moment right big reveal big reveal of a look ah in fact actually you can see there was a queen cell that has emerged so logically We'd have a virgin queen or she's been out and got mated already which would be rather quick there must have been two weeks ago that i put the eggs in so it's literally just this this week in fact actually there's a cell there as well that's been ripped and torn down so probably left two cells and it's definitely a good good chance of a fighting queen in here she's, she's done her job to to stake her claim let's pop that out just to in there anymore. Can we see her? She's going to be quite hard to see, although there aren't actually that many bees in here, so she might be quite easy to see. Okay, pleased with that, so a bit of luck that we should, in theory, have a virgin queen shortly mated doors on there, that looks good. She might even be out on mating flights now given this beautiful weather change. Let's see if we can just see her again if we just double look. Not really that fast for finding her but nice yeah that cell was definitely ripped down. There she is, she's on the bottom of the frame. She's there, uh, I think she's there. Pretty sure I saw her running around, like frantically running. Maybe not, I'll find it in the edit. She 
she was a little tiny one but she was running really super quickly now that's the drone that's okay I'm going to go with the Virgin Queen scene on that Whatever, she's asking me. I said it, keep looking, that's all I want to Good, okay, let's wrap them back up. Mr. the wasp. Okay, put that one over there, over there. Right, so, in theory we have a good, a good viable colony. Those poly hives have a tendency to blow the little lids off and go and chase them. So um, that's all good. So we have the poly nuke number one. Uh, Virgin Queen is out and about, and we are hopefully we'll get her mated for next week, and then we can see some eggs and so on. She might live in that box. She'll probably build up in that box, and she'll probably over winter in that box as soon as she's mated. I'll, I'll dump a bit of feed in there as well, uh, so she can be okay for winter and I need to sort the entrance out because it's gone a bit funky where something large attached it so I might have to do a bit of a filler job uh, to sort that out for next time. Thank you for watching, do comment, like, subscribe and uh, share on social media, it always helps us, uh, helps us grow the uh, channel. Uh, thank you very much, I will see you on the next one.